We are ready for game lab number 17, and this one is about tracking mouse clicks. Uh, when somebody has uh, got a game running, occasionally what you want to do is uh, track did they click the mouse. And so we're going to combine a couple of things in this exercise. We're going to use a variable to store the number of mouse clicks, which will always be increasing as the mouse gets clicked. It's always going to be changing. And then we also want to set it up so that once a certain number of mouse clicks has occurred, something happens. There will be, uh, at the time that I'm recording this movie, this handout is not on Google Classroom, but there will be one, probably at the time that you're watching this. It has all the step-by-step -step instructions here. And uh, I'm going to hop straight over to code.org. Um, you will also have, and it's not there at the time that I'm recording the movie, but by the time you're watching the movie it will be, um, there will be a, a, a link to some code that will be called Rocket or something similar. And uh, you will, if you want to, it's not, you don't have to, you can make your own. But if you want to use my Rocket, you can use my Rocket. So you would have to click that and you would have to view code and do a remix and a rename. And uh, then that would get you all set and ready to go. Now if you're using my code, this is what it's gonna look like when you get it. I might come up here and say like rocket demo or something like that and just rename that. Okay, good. Okay, um, <clears throat> this is all the code there is. So you can see why you could build your own. If you run my code, it's got a little rocket at the bottom, and uh, there we go. You know, that's that's kind of it. So we're, we're going to make some changes, obviously, and what we're going to do is set it up so that um, the computer reads if a mouse was clicked. And if it was clicked, we want to keep track of how many times it was clicked. And then once the number of clicks gets to a certain point, um, I'm going to make that rocket take off. It's going to lift off and go. So if, if you're going to make your own object, then you would have to do something similar to this. But let's take a look at what all is involved in this. First of all, um, this is going to involve a variable. Um, we have to have some place to store the number of mouse clicks. Uh, think of it like a, I don't know what you want, like a bag or a box or something. A variable is kind of like a bag or a box and it stores stuff. And, and so we're going to set up a variable, and here's, here's how that's going to be done. I'm going to bring over the var command, the, the one on the top. I'm going to bring it over and drop it before the draw loop, and I'm just going to set up my variable. I'm going to define my variable, and I'm going to call it clicks. Now, it could be, you know, it doesn't have to be clicks. It could be any, any word. You remember the variable rules? You uh, can't start with a number, can't have any empty spaces. Um, <clears throat> Uh, got capitalization and, and, and punctuation and things like that count. Uh, so I'm just going to call it clicks and I'm going to set it to begin with, I'm going to set it equal to zero. All right, so we've got that taken care of. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is a small thing. I'm going to go to the drawing uh, drawer and I'm going to drop, there's no, yeah, there's a background command in there. Never mind, sorry, there's a background command in there. Uh, so I've got a background command inside my draw loop. And so now what we're going to do is set up a, a kind of a conditional statement to see, okay, did, did the mouse get clicked? And if the mouse did get clicked, we have to add one to the total number of clicks. Right now, clicks equals zero. All right, well, let's go get a, um, an if block out of the control drawer and we'll drop that in. Now, the block we're gonna need here is, uh, it's here in the world drawer and it's mouse went down. All right, so that's that. You know, the, the person running the program doesn't have to like click and hold the button down. They just click the button, and so that counts, right? So it's mouse went down, and I'm going to bring that and drop drop that in. And and left button is fine. That's the main button of the mouse, so left button is good. So look at how that's set up. If mouse went down, left button. All right. Now, what do we want to have happen if the mouse did get clicked? Well, what we've got to do is keep track of the number of clicks. So you got to look carefully at how this is going to work. I'm going back to the variables drawer. And I'm not going to, we don't bring over a var command. I don't want this first one, and I don't want this, this second one either. That's already been done. The variable has already been declared. Up here on mine, it's at line 5. Uh, the var command is already there. The variable's already been declared. We're just going to change its value. So I'm just going to use this third one down that says x equals. So I'll bring it over here. And it's going to be clicks 
equals. Now, again, there's a lot of ways you could do this, but the thing I find is it's just as easy to come over here to this hole and just type what you want it to be. And that's what, here, here's what it's going to look like. It's going to say clicks plus one. And when you when I click my mouse off of that, you'll see that it kind of changes to look like a math block. It looks like a yellow. All the all the math blocks are yellow or orange or whatever color you want to call that. Um, <clears throat> but look carefully at how that's set up. My variable is called clicks, and this says, okay, if the mouse went down, then um, the number of clicks equals the number of clicks plus one. There's some other annotations. There's some other ways that you can code that, but this works. Clicks equal clicks plus one. So it's just going to keep a running total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Now, next thing. The other thing we want to have happen in this program is if the, if the number of clicks on the mouse get to a certain point, I want that rocket to take off. I want it to, it's going to lift off, take off. All right. Well, that's going to require another if. All right. And... This one's going to be, I'm going to set it up as a greater than situation. And I, you know what? I'm just going to type it in here. Again, I could go over to the master drawer, and there's a greater than block, and I could bring it over here. I could use the greater than operator. Uh, you know what? I, I find it just as easy to just pop right in here into this hole and just say, okay, if clicks is greater than, and then this is where you got to set a limit. Um, and don't, oh, please don't do this. Um, <laughs> don't make it 100 or don't even make it 50, right? Because I'm going to grade all these and I don't want to sit there and click, 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 click the mouse 100 times but until, you're, until the action happens. So, you know, 10, 15, 20, 30, you know, those, those numbers aren't bad. But let's not go 50, let's not go 100, let's not get out of control on this. All right, so I'm just going to say, on, in this case, I'll say if clicks is greater than 20. I'll just try it at that level. All right, so that's another condition. If that's true, what do I want to have happen? Well, the th my thought is on this, and you could do something a little bit different if you wanted to, but my thought is that I want the rocket to go up the screen. I just want it to you know, take off. It's, going to, like, it's like it's going to lift off. So that's going to be a sprite.y. And I, I'll, I'll go ahead and use a math block here. I almost always use the plus block. There's a minus block. You could use the minus block. But I almost always use, I don't know, I just, it's, just, it's a habit, all right? So I'm going to say rocket is called rocket. Rocket.y equals rocket.y plus a. Now, if I wanted to go up the screen, that's going to have to be a negative number. So I'm going to do a negative 10. The bigger the number, the faster it's going to lift off. Oh, man, I think this should work. And that's what you always have to check. You can't just think it should work and then turn it in. You should always run it and make sure it works. So what should happen is when I, when I, I'll hit reset here, but when I run it, um, you know what? I don't want the background to be white. Uh, let's make it blue or something. I don't know. All right, just thought of that. Uh, so anyway, when I run it, um, I, I'm, I'm going to start clicking the mouse. And every time I click it, this should keep this statement right in here. If the mouse went down, it should keep a running total of, of the clicks. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then if the clicks ever get to be greater than 20, then that rocket should take off. Well, let's find out. Here we go. All right, so it's sitting there waiting. Here we go. Click, 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 click. I'm clicking. There it went. It worked. Let's reset and run it again. So if I sit here and click the mouse, once I get greater than 20 on the number of clicks, rocket takes off. And I can play around with that number. If I didn't want to say greater than 5, it'll take off a lot quicker this time, right? So if I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, on the 6th click, bingo, the rocket takes off. This is working. This is it. All right, so you're looking at it. <laughs> if mouse went down, left button, we're going to increase our number of clicks and keep track of our number of clicks. If the number of cl clicks gets greater than the limit that you set, then you got to make something happen. What I did was I made the rocket go up the screen. It took off. It went flying. Hey, that's, uh, that's our task of the day. Right there it is. It's time for you to jump in and do it. Show me you can do it. That's all I'm really after today. Your turn.